Hey YouTube, it's Jabal. I'm here coming to you guys with this quick video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own custom lock screen theme for your iPhone, iPod Touch, and I believe the iPad as well. Now, as you can see, this is the one that I made for this video. I have 11, uh, 29 up here and AM. Now I have Monday, June 27, 2011. The weather over here, a weather widget, and over here a custom slider. So you will be able to make something like this and directly, all of this directly from your iDevice. So it is pretty cool. Now you're going to need to install two things. Uh, one of them will be from Cydia and the other from the App Store. Let me show you guys what they are. So go into Cydia and install Typo Clock Builder. Now this is free, it's going to be from the Mon My Source. If you guys don't already have that repo, I should have it down below in the description, but you guys should have it. Anyways, after that you want to go into the App Store and install Clock Builder. Now this one is 99 cents, so I know it does cost 99 cents, it kind of sucks, but it is pretty cool because you can make something like this, so it's really nice. Anyways, after that is all installed, you want to go into your home screen and look for Clock Builder. Mine's right there, so I'm just going to click on it. As you can see, I already made my own, uh, so it's all already preset. But you can make this however you want uh, by simply tapping the edit button over here. So I'm just going to click edit, and then you can click list. Now, oh, this is all the stuff that I already installed. But if you were to add, uh, click on the add button, as you can see, you have a whole bunch of other stuff. If you click on, uh, if you click on date, then you have clock, AM, PM symbol, day digit, day name, month and year. If you go to weather, then you have weather icon, which is the weather widget, uh, location name, temperature, conditions, and if you go to custom text, you have custom text. I'm just going to click on custom text and click done. So as you can see, I have it right there. I'm going to click done again. Now it is up here, so let me drag it down for you guys. Now you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want. I'm going to change it to like there. That's pretty good. And I'm going to click the uh, tool button over there on the, on the left to change it. Now if you click on the T with quotation marks, you can change uh, what it says, sorry. <laughs> if you click on the T with quotation marks, you can change what it says, so I'm going to click on, or type sub in, and then click OK. And as you can see, I have sub there, so again, let me make it a bit bigger, just to show you guys. If you click on the A with the little white circle around it, you can change the color, so I'm going to drag the green down and then the blue down, so it just stays out red. As you can see, I have it right there, so it looks pretty cool red right there. It matches with uh, the other stuff. So it looks really nice. If you, you can change the font by clicking the top A right here and uh, just changing it. Let's say I wanted to match uh, the clock. If I click OK, as you can see it has the same font as the clock. So it looks pretty cool. Now if you were satisfied with that, you just simply click done over uh, here in the right corner. Just click done and there you go. Now let's say you didn't like it and you wanted to delete it. Just go over here into list and click the minus button then click delete and that is all you have to do now you can customize this a little more if you click into settings as you can see you can change your background background and slideshow weather settings this is if you have a weather icon you can change what the weather icon is going to look like to say HTC if you click on a flat it looks like that I have it at tick so I'm going to put it back to tick then that is that then over here if you go into lock screen settings you can change the slider so I do have the black one because I think that one looks really cool but as you can see you have a whole bunch of other ones and that is basically it once you are satisfied with what you want you click in the middle button and then you can cle uh, click clear theme, save theme, upload share and set as lock screen so if you guys want to set it as your lock screen obviously click on set as lock screen make sure that the uh, typo clock builder is enabled in winterboard and you are good to go uh, there's one more thing you guys are going to need to have uh, or to install uh, clock hide which hides your custom or your normal uh, iPhone or iDevices clock that your normal iPhone comes with you will need to install that so that you guys can view this better and it looks like this let me show you guys what it looks like live as you can see looks like that so it looks pretty cool uh, I really do like this uh, I really I really recommend you guys getting this because it is pretty nice um, it's really cool to have on your iDevice it looks really nice so yep anyways if you guys have any further comments or questions leave them down below in the comment section if you guys need any further information it should be below in the description so just go check that out there if you guys like this video please remember to click the like button over there in the bottom left corner of this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this or just want to keep following me on YouTube then click the subscribe button up there somewhere. Alright YouTube, this has been Tech Show Z and I will see you guys next time. Peace.